tonight are you going nope <laughs> but the homecoming ceremony i do know is around 6 15 the football game starts at 7 and the homecoming dance is from 8 30 to 11 30. i hope to see y'all there tonight let's see what the weather is this weekend hey y'all it's emma and the weather this weekend will be on saturday the highs of 67 and the lows of 52 on sunday it's going to be the high of 60 and the lows of 50. now make sure you're bringing a blanket this friday to the football game because it's going to be chilly y'all have a good one sounds like some chilly nights this weekend Speaking of chili, what's your all-time favorite fall meal? Personally, my mom's chicken and dumplings are pretty darn good. Sounds delicious. Mine would have to be my mom's taco soup. You take a taco and your soup. A taco soup. Anyways, you ever been stabbed? Good morning, BMHS. I am Doctor. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to fix and treat a stab wound. Now, I know even some of you seniors are going to be helpless in the face of a situation like this. I've been hired by your principal to show you the effective way to treat somebody that is in danger. Here we have our test subject. We're going to help him. Step one, secure the area and know the weapon. Now, there's a wide variety of things that someone can be struck by. Have you been poked by a shift? Good. Because we've got the steps necessary for you to get out of that situation. Have you been struck by a claymore? Well, check your location, because you might be in the midst of a battlefield and you need to get out. But, if your patient is still conscious, just ask them. Circumstances. I'm dying. Semantics. Now, I know I'm not always going to be there to hold your hand. So, once you've got your patient dolled up, you're going to pick up your phone and call 911. Their life will be prolonged long enough so that the, when the proper medical authorities arrive, they'll take it from there. Do you have a shirt on? Good, because any piece of cloth can be used to plug a wound to stop the blood loss long enough for the proper help to arrive. Step four, check their health. Now, when someone gets stabbed or impaled by a sharp object, obviously their body's going to go into shock, or worse, blood loss. So they might pass out and you don't want that. Sir, are you okay? Step five, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. CPR. Now, if you recall in step one, I did say that the patient can go into shock when they've been stabbed. So that can relate to hyperventilation and shallowness of breath. What that will cause is them passing out. And you do not want that when the proper medical authorities arrive because it makes their job harder, most importantly. After some time has passed, your patient will have made a full recovery. And because of you, you've just saved someone's life. You might have even made a new friend. What's up, buddy? Not me, though. This has been Doctor. I'll see you again, BMHS. Oh, that may come into use one day. Man, I sure hope not. You know, my mouth is kind of dry. You know, I heard some of the boys on the news team were trying some water. Let's go see what that's about. All right. Welcome to our water review. We're drinking water. And telling you which ones are trash. Are we ready? I guess. Are we going to start on this side still? Let's go. All right. Clover Valley Spring Water. All right, Typhosia. It's definitely water. Yeah, and that's just about all it is, though. It doesn't really have an aftertaste. Thankfully. Oh, no, I got a little bit of one. But it might just be from these cups. It's OK, though. What it's the cup. Mean? Is it the cup? Yep, that's just the cup. OK. That but is very, very water. It, let's see, which one is this? This one's the Clover, Clover Valley, Valley Spring, Spring water. water. It's as water as water gets. I, it's as cheap as water gets. This whole thing was like a buck fifty. So that's a very good deal for water. Yeah, because that's a 1.5 liters. That's 50.7 fluid ounces. But, I mean, that's not bad water. No, this is perfectly acceptable water. I'm happy with it. I've definitely had better. I've definitely had worse. Yeah. Clover Valley Purified Water.
I'm gonna go for a sip for this. Yeah, that, that's what this is. Yep, that's worse. Yep, much, much worse. Oh, that is... That one's it's like... It's pungent water. <laughs> it's like dry. How is water dry? Oh, you want to know something we forgot to do? We forgot to, we forgot to cleanse our palates. Here, cleanse your palate first before you continue. Use your cup, don't use mine. Get your... So, the, the water that we're water. cleansing our palates with is uh, water straight from the school water fountains down here in the CTC. Slight metallic taste. Yeah, just but, a little. Uh, I think that'll work. Okay. I'm not sure I want to drink oh. this again. I'm going to get one more little sip now that we've cleansed our palate. That's still bad. Uh-huh. Yep. <clears throat> still truly awful. Wow, that is... That's that going to make the Glacier Mist taste good. That is some bad stuff. <laughs> that, that's not great water. In a pinch, it would be fine. It's... If to be fair, it really, is water. If you're really thirsty, it is water. It I, is. I it would is not water. happily drink that. I wouldn't either. Nestle Pure Life. My mouth is dry. Mine too. Why does it do that? <laughs> I don't know, but my but, mouth is actively dry. I don't know what they're trying to do, but I definitely don't want to drink more of it. I don't know. That's a good, refreshing water. It has a nice little crisp taste to it. It has a little bit of plastic taste whenever you start, but it doesn't stay. No, it's not one of those that lingers. It just kind of has a slight, gentle plastic to it. Enough and plastic that, that, to give it some taste. But keep in mind, this might also be from the cups that we're using. Because these are little plastic disposable cups. They're dollar store cups. Exactly. They're cheap. It's not bad water, though. It's definitely drinkable. I would happily drink that. I would definitely drink a bottle of that. Aquafina. <laughs> Hang on. I know the camera probably can't see it, but do you see all that floating around in it? You see all that? It's like a snow globe. Yeah. It looks like it has <laughs> dust in it or something. All right, well, you ready? There is dust in the cup, so be warned about that. No, I don't care. <laughs> it, it has a very strong starting taste to it. And a very strong middle and ending taste to it. My mouth is still dry. I'm, mine's more than before. I'm just going to finish this one off. Ooh. My, my tongue hurts. <laughs> well, that's unappetizing. Yeah, that's that was a not... different taste. Oh. Members mark. Offset it too much. Ready? It's a nice water. That is a satisfying water. That is. It hydrates. It slightly re-wetted my mouth. Because my mouth was still fairly dry. I like that. I would willingly drink those. And add dollar a bottle, easy convenience. Yeah. That's definitely the way to go. Go hit up Miss Wedge. Absolutely. Glacier Mist. It doesn't smell like how water should smell. Why does it smell like that? <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna go for my soap. I don't enjoy it. Ugh! <laughs> Why does it taste like that? I told you it was like someone drank it, sweated it up, put it back in the bottle. That is truly terrible water. <laughs> this is just drinking the bottle. <laughs> I think I would rather eat the label. I don't want to finish this one. I gotta finish it off. <sighs> Screw it. It leaves a residue. It does. I feel waxed. Oh. I feel waxed. You know, I used to drink two of those every day when I was a cashier. I'm so sorry for you. It's horrible. That's truly terrible. And it would be, like, warm. Mm. I, I don't mean just not cold, I mean warm. <laughs> That's... It gets worse. Terrible. Okay. Thankfully but... we're past that. Smart water. See if this will raise my ACT score. It's not bad. It's water. I feel like there's a slight something. It's like almost slightly sweet. There is a taste. I'm not sure it's a bad one, but it is a taste. It's not just water. There is a taste there. It's like added minerals. 
Oh, this is impossible to read. Oh yeah, good luck reading that one. Vapor distilled water, calcium chloride and magnesium chloride, and potassium bicarbonate. Those are all salts. With electrolytes added for taste. There it is. I knew there had to be something extra added. Let's finish her off. Yep. Overall, not a bad water. No, that's pretty good water. I, yeah. would, I would go out of my way to buy a bottle of smart water. Evian. It's nice and refreshing. That's good water. That is a good water. I like that. Yeah, see? Listen to me sometimes. I know what I'm talking about. It's refreshing. And it has... And the thing with that is, is it's naturally distilled. It tastes like there is something slightly different about it, but I'm not sure what it is. It's naturally distilled. Because it tastes like oddly similar to tap water, like bottled water should. It's naturally distilled. They essentially pull that straight from the ground. So I enjoy it. Yeah, see, they're good. All right. So, what are we think for an overall winner? An overall winner, I'm going to be biased and say Evian. I'm going to go for the Clover Valley Spring Water. Really? I enjoyed that. You really did. Like, that was some good stuff. Okay. And like, you see how big that bottle is? And that's that is, a lot of that water. That is a lot of water. How much, what is the... So I said... One and a half liters. One and a half liters, 50.7 fluid ounces. And hand me the Evian, please. And this one is only 25.3. So, the bottle of Evian is about half of, you know, what this and is. And that costs how much? And these are about $3 a bottle. Oh, goodness. Half the price, double the water. But I think we can all agree on what the absolute worst one was. This stuff. Glacier Mist is horrible. Awful. Get rid of it. I hope that didn't break. It didn't. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, this has been our water review. Come back next time when we review something different. We It'll don't know what fun. it is. We don't know. But we'll find something. We'll taste it. And we'll tell you if we like it. That, that glacier mist, it really left a taste. I told you that is some bad water. That one left a terrible taste. That's truly terrible water. I don't... <laughs> How can that be considered water? Is there a number on this to call? I need to complain about this water. For nutritional source or bottled water quality information, call that number. Can I file a water quality complaint? I don't know, but I'm going to try right after this. Wow. That was refreshing. Sure was. I wonder what's going on with the sports this week. Next Monday through Thursday is the third district tournament. Good luck to our volleyball players as they head to Mayfield to play. Next Friday, we will have an away game at Caverna starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Did you know that I'm a pro at skipping? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I actually almost went to the Olympics for it. Mm, I bet you did, Cam. I wonder if other people are as good as me. Adams is up to today. I can take a guess. Hey, Baltimore community, Mr. Adams here. Guess what time it is? It's Thursday, senior walk time, and I am privileged today to welcome with me Ms. Riley Dunn and Mr. Jared Abernathy, seniors in the class of 2024. So let's learn a little bit about them. So, Riley, let's begin with what is your favorite pizza topping? I'm going to have to say pepperoni. Pepperoni. Jerry? Uh, probably about cheese. Cheese. Cheese, pepperoni. So two good answers to learn a little bit about them to start. All right, question number two. 
A little deeper. What is your favorite tradition or holiday that you celebrate, Jared? I'm going to have to go with Christmas on that one. All right, why Christmas? I don't know. I was always liked it. Always like Christmas, Riley? I'm going to have to say Christmas, too. I enjoy, like, the Christmas lights and spending time with my family and stuff like that. Good stuff. Spending time with your family, Christmas lights. All right. A little deeper. Every question goes a little deeper. What is your catchphrase or a quote that you live by, Riley? Um... It has to be live every day like you might not see tomorrow because some of us don't. That's good, good. Jared? Um, probably be the change you wish to see in the world. Wow, those are two good quotes. Be the change you want to see, live for every day, live in the moment. All right, last question. You know, you're getting ready to graduate high school, going to be here before we know it. So 10 years from now, where do you want to be? Jared? You know, I want to have my own house and have my like have my job and everything. All right, house, job, family, good answer. I, I hope to have a family and be building a house and have a good job. I don't know what job I'll have by then, but I, I know that it'll be something that I've always wanted. Hey, guess what? You're a senior in high school. You don't have to have all the answers right now. So I want to thank Riley and thank Jared for spending time with me today. I encourage each of you to enjoy the moment. Your senior year, the rest of it's going to fly by. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have a great week. Well, that's all we got for the news this week. I hope everybody has a great weekend. This, this is BMHS, BMHS News, signing off. off.